introducing our transformations. So here's a review of our parent functions. The first function on the upper left, its function is an absolute value. Is the shape of it looks like a bean. The second one is your square root. It's like a half a parabola. The next one is the quadratic. The shape looks like a U. Heading down to the bottom left here, cubic function. Shape looks like a snake. Reciprocal function. Here's your two curves. And then your step function. Close to open, step up, close to open, step up, close to open, etc. All right, let's get into this very important slide here. These are what we call our parent function transformations. So the first thing let's talk about is vertical shifts. Those happen outside at the end of the equation. It affects the vertical axes. So if you have a plus at the end of your equation, what it's going to do is going to vertically shift it up k units. And this will be the rule. It'll affect the y-axis will be plus k. The next thing is minus k. What that does is it takes the entire graph and shifts it vertically down k units. And here is the rule. It'll affect the y-axis, pushing it down. All right, in the purple, moving on. Horizontal shifts, they happen inside the function. We have to say we think opposite when it's inside. And it's going to affect the horizontal axes, the x-axis. So let's talk about the first one. Inside the function, a minus. Think opposite, not going to the left, but to the right. So there's a horizontal shift to the right. It's going to affect the x-axis, so it'll be a plus h. Next transformation, inside the function, plus h. So think opposite. We're going to move to the left, h. And here will be our rule. To get it to the left, we have to subtract h. Next two transformations here in the purple, I'm sorry, in the red here, um, these are reflections. If your negative is in front of the function, so here's your function that's in front, that's going to reflect about the x-axis. And this would be your rule. It's going to uh, change all those y's to a opposite sign. So think of a parabola going like this. It's going to flip it down instead. If our negative is inside the function, it's going to reflect it about the y-axis. And it's going to make your negative be on the x. So if I had a something that looked like this, it will flip the opposite way about the y-axis. All right, let's head down to the hard one here for green and blues. These are the harder ones to get because now we're multiplying. We're changing the look of our parent by a multiplier. If the multiplier is in front of the function, it's going to affect the y-axis by that multiplier. And it's going to be something vertical, y-axis. So if your number is in front of the function and it's greater than 1, here is your rule. It's going to change every y value by that multiplier of a. And we call this a vertical stretch. Now, again, we have a a value. It's in front of the function. But now it's a fraction. It's a number between a little greater than 0, less than 1. We call this a vertical compression. And it's going to be multiplied by y again, that a value. All right, last set on this slide is now our horizontal stretches and compressions. Now when you go inside the function, inside, it affects the x-axis, and I want you to be very careful here, it's 1 over b, so we're going to have to flip it, flip it, to figure out that multiplier. So, again, it's inside the function, we're going to think opposite. We're 
going to flip it, which means after the flip, if our number is greater than 1, it's going to have a horizontal stretch. Last one, 1 over b, so we're going to flip it, and if our, after our flip is a fraction, then it's going to be a horizontal compression. Oh, and by the way, you multiply the x value by that b. So that's your rule change. You're changing the x's by that multiplier of b after the flip.